It, 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 I never got to the bottom of it. It had to do with the van, a locked door, and Henry Coleman. Yeah, I'm remembering yeah. this. They were bugging the bar, right? <laughs> so they're conspiring to what? Get rid of Rose and implicate Dusty? Because my feeling is that Molly knows that Dusty is innocent. She just wants to bust his chops for stringing her along, whereas Paul, he'd be in it for keeps if, and this is a big if, Paul's guilty. Yeah, I, I, I tend to believe their games are unrelated. Molly was going after Dusty, and Paul wanted Rose to suffer. He didn't need to kill her. You know what, Hal? I know that you were very fond of him, but you can't dismiss Stenbeck's statement. James? What about Barbara? She hates me. Mom, calm you down. You told him that I took the champagne bottle and, and glasses, glasses and planted them in Molly's room for the sole purpose of protecting him. He's not going to see it that way. He's going to be furious. Somebody's trying to convince the police that I killed Rose. Well, it isn't me, okay? Paul, I just want to know what you think is in my room and who broke in and stole it. I'm not at liberty to say. Get out. Happy New Year. Oh, it will be. For me. When I find out who set me up. Oh, Mom, you don't have to do this. Paul wasn't angry. Oh, so that means he's saving it all up for me. Don't you understand that? I'll call you when I land somewhere, okay? Where are you going? And what am I supposed to tell Will? I can't see Will anyway, and I certainly can't face Paul. Mom, you ha at least have to tell me where you're headed. Bay City, overnight. And then to the airport. I'll call you. Did Barbara kill Rose? She's been pretty quiet these last few weeks, but for my money, she's our number one suspect. Since Rose collapsed, I've had this knot in my gut, and at the center of it is Barbara. And don't forget, we searched her suite in her office when we came up with Zip. Yeah, but she refuses to take a polygraph. <laughs> of course she won't take a polygraph. Moon doesn't know how to tell the truth. Going somewhere? Me? Mm hmm? Um, Jen and I were just gonna go out for a little dinner, that's all. You don't say. With an overnight bag. Oh, you bring a travel alarm clock to dinner. Are you timing a souffle? Oh, and eye shades. Talk about the blind leading the blind. What are you up to, Barbara? I was trying to protect you. You can do better than that. Come on. Jennifer, please, would you please tell him I was just trying to protect him. M Mom was upset. She did something really silly, but... She made it impossible for me to prove to anybody that I'm innocent. I didn't kill anybody. Certainly not Rose. But I can't prove to anybody that I'm innocent. Because she stole the evidence. I can't even go talk to Hal. Could you see that, huh? Could you picture that? I go talk to Hal. Oh, gee, Hal, golly, gee, no, I didn't kill Rose, but I wish I could tell you who did. However, my mother took the goblet and put it in Molly's room, and somehow, some way, it managed to get from Molly's room into, guess where? Oh, my empty grave. Ha, ha, ha! He'd laugh me right out of the police station. I know I made a mistake, but please don't come on it by going to Hal. Why not? Because Hal would think that you killed her and that you're trying to frame me. That's what it gets back to, isn't it? Mother, please, just tell me the truth, finally. You killed the only woman I ever loved. You did it. You poisoned Rose. Do you think that Barbara refused to take the polygraph test because she's afraid she'd implicate herself or she's protected Paul? I still don't think that Paul would kill Rose. I mean, as angry as he was, I still don't think he has the stomach for it. Who do you like? Me? I don't know yet. But I tend to look at the guy who's making the most noise. You know, the one who's always pointing his finger at somebody else? Never understood that. Unless, of course, he's guilty himself. I know what you're feeling. Please, please, please don't go to hell, all right? He's just about let me see Will. He's gonna let me see Will. He'll ruin everything. I'm begging you. I don't want you anywhere near Will. Not, not... Not now. You're over the edge, Barbara. Paul, I thought we agreed to calm things down. We don't want anyone doing anything desperate. 
How do you do that? When you got like a remote control or something, you start hyperventilating and she starts jumping up and down and trying to make everything I want okay. you to think about something. All right, just think about this. Jennifer certainly didn't kill Rose. And I know that you didn't. And I... I'm glad she's gone. I admit that. I do. But I didn't kill her. I didn't. So there's no need to go to hell. We can handle this by ourselves. Dusty killed her. Right. You want to know who I think set me up, Barbara? You. You're the one who set me up. No, no, I swear, I and swear. I would rather fall. let fire ants eat the flesh off of my face than join Team Ryan. No offense, Jen. You do what you gotta do. But I'm out. Now on it's every child for himself. And if you do anything to implicate me in your crimes, I will. I will bring you down with me. My Jen. Yes. Can you blame him? I didn't set him up. I swear to you on my life, on Will's life, it wasn't me. to come with me. Am I under arrest? No, but I need you down at the station for questioning. Questioning for what? Why don't you put this punk on lockdown? Take a hike, Donovan. This doesn't concern you. No? Rose D'Angelo was the only woman I ever loved. And this piece of trash killed her. And he deserves to fry for it. I didn't kill her, Dusty. But if I find out you're the one who set me up, I will kill you. Don't make it worse on yourself, Paul. Let's go. It was you, wasn't it? It was me what? Who arranged it so that the police would find Paul with the champagne glasses? They found a murder weapon on Paul? <laughs> like you didn't know that. Like you didn't plant them and then arrange it so that the cops and Paul should have... The cops time. found a murder weapon on Paul and they're still playing 20 questions. Your brother's going down. This one go. I'm gonna lay it out for you, Paul. Found cases of methanol in the goblet you gave Rose. Doesn't look too good for you. I didn't put methanol or anything else in that goblet. Well, somebody did. Well, somebody's going to great lengths to make it look like I killed Rose. You guys are falling for it. You should be out there looking for the real killer instead of wasting your time talking to me. We're bringing a killer to justice, none of which is a waste of time, including talking to you. We know that you brought the champagne and the goblet to the church. Yeah, that's no secret, but when I left the church, the champagne, the goblet, and the glasses were all still there. So you say, but you had plenty of time to circle back and grab them while everyone was focused on Rose. So you think that what I did to Rose on the altar was some kind of diversion so I could move the evidence? I, I'm not that clever. Or sick. Really? Sick? Wouldn't you call faking your own death sick? Owning your own crypt? Which just so happens to be a pretty handy place to stash evidence. I did not see the champagne glasses, the goblet, or the champagne after I gave them all to Rose and her bridesmaids. Someone's setting me up and you're falling for it hook, line, and sinker. You want to talk to who did this? Talk to Barbara. Wants to believe that you plan to murder Rose. Really? Because it seems to me you guys are bending over backwards to try and pin this on me. I got nothing else to say to oh, you. Oh, damn it, Paul, I'm on your side. Not if you're trying to coax a confession out of me. I did not kill Rose, and I am not the one who moved the evidence. Oh, come on. The story of Barbara playing musical chairs with the evidence is laughable. Now you want us to believe that, that someone stole it back and set you up? You told them? Are you saying that it's true? <laughs> <laughs>